Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to use Python to facilitate you save money. And the topic today is about gamified saving money technique in Python. Specifically, we're talking about the 365 days saving rule. Okay, so I'm going to explain that to you and that is very interesting. And then we're going to apply that rule to Python and then hopefully you, they can uh, help you to save more money. Okay, let's start. And first of all, we know that every year we have 365 days, right? And the rule is actually state as follows. So each day you're going to save X dollar to your amount. Uh, to your account and then this x dollar is nothing but a random number from 1 to 365 without reputation okay so here's the example so let's say you save on day one you're going to save 32 dollars and on day two you're going to save 12 dollars because every amount uh, for this number is from 1 to 365 without reputation and then you're going to save every day until the last day let's say for the last day you save 354 dollars okay so basically if you rank a amount of money from the list to the largest this is the amount of money you're going to save so you're going to save one dollar plus two dollars plus all the way to 365 if you save that random number just shuffled in the 365 days you're gonna actually got sixty six thousand seven hundred and ninety five dollars and that is a lot right so let's take a look at how we apply that in python and hopefully this help will help you to save more money okay so let's play this game so first of all gonna import random this is a random library help you to generate some random numbers and uh, do some operations okay so first of all gonna create a list and in this list represent every day in that year you're gonna uh, apply this uh, money saving rule and because we have 365 days, right? So the length of the list is 365. And each element uh, represents amount of money you're gonna save to your account. And every element is not, uh, is this number is not repeat, is, is not repeated. So let's define this. We're gonna define list saving. And that equal to we're gonna use random function dot sample. Okay, so sample is a function to create some random numbers based on certain rules you defined. So let's say we're gonna uh, do the range. Range uh, specifies a lower boundary and the upper boundary of your data. The lower boundary is one, right? And the upper boundary is 365, but in Python, we're gonna plus one because uh, that is how Python works, right? And uh, uh, you have to um, add another one because if you do not add this one, uh, you, you're gonna stop from 364. So that is uh, exclusive. So we have to plus one here and to make sure that the upper boundary is 365. Okay. And the length of this data is 365. Okay. So let's print that out. I think this list would be really long, but let's first take a look at that. Okay, so that is the random number, and this uh, this random number represents what um, uh, how much money you're gonna put every day. Okay, so that is uh, really awful because it's a really long list. Okay, so let's say uh, this uh, first day you're gonna save one hundred and thirty dollars, and then for the next day you're gonna save two dollars, and then the last day you're gonna <laughs> save let's say uh, sixty four dollars. Okay. And okay, let me uh, close this and we're gonna do a quick sum and to take a look at. Okay, so it's a 66,000 
$795. Okay, so that is the amount of money you're going to save if you apply this rule every day for an entire 365 days. Okay, that's a lot. And and that is how we define the list of saving. But now we want to, um, you know, better visualize that because if you directly print it out, it would be horrible to visualize. So we're going to do this way. We're going to write a small uh, loop uh, so that it is easy for you to visualize. And uh, the uh, logic is here because every uh, every week we have seven days, right? So we're gonna visualize uh, per amount uh, every visualize the dollars uh, you're gonna save. You will save per week. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do for i in range. So this is a very simple loop function. And we're going to from 0 to 365. We're going to take a look at every element uh, of the dollars in this list. And we're going to separate it by 7 because 7 is a whole week. And then we're going to define a row. Each row will be list saving. This is what we defined in the previous lay, right? So this is the entire list. And the entire list comes from i all the way to i plus 7 because we're going to visualize a bunch of amount of uh, money you're going to save per week. And print row. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so this is better for you to visualize, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that is the first week, right? So uh, in the first week, uh, in the first day, or uh, you're gonna save 222, and then next day you're gonna save this amount, and then until the uh, last day of the week. Okay, now I also want to mark the number of the week so we're gonna do this way we're gonna print we're gonna def define a list and that is a week and we're gonna use i because i is per week divided by seven and that is row and let's visualize that okay so week zero and it it is zero right and what we're going to do here, you can see that it's a, a float number. It is easy to do this way so that you can make an integer number plus one. Okay, so that, that uh, you're going to start with week one. So let's redo that. And you can see that week one, you're going to save this amount of money. On week two, you're going to save um, those amount of money. And last one, you're going to save $182, okay? So that is uh, how we define uh, a list of random numbers. And uh, then based on those random numbers, we're going to visualize every week amount of money you're going to save. And the last, you, after the entire uh sequence of the week saving you're gonna get sixty six thousand seven hundred and ninety five dollars okay so i hope you enjoy this video and i will see you next one